Christ had not been raised from the dead, then your faith is futile and you are still in your sins. That's hogwash. There's no proof that Jesus rose from the dead. But you do know that Jesus of Nazareth was an actual person. You do know that he actually died by crucifixion the way that it says in the Bible. You can't trust the Bible for your source of information. <laughs> Jesus of Nazareth was mentioned in many non-biblical writings, like the Annals of Tacitus from around 115 AD. It confirms the historical accuracy of the story in the Bible, that Jesus was a real person and that he was crucified by the Romans under the order of Pontius Pilate. What? Had this Tacitus been bamboozled by the Christian way of thinking? No, I mean, Tacitus was not a Christian, but... Neither was Josephus. Josephus was another first century historian that affirms the historical authenticity of Jesus of Nazareth and his crucifixion by the Romans. But Josephus says even more than this. He said that Jesus performed extraordinary deeds amongst the people. And Josephus also says that he appeared to them alive after three days in the grave, just like the prophets in the Old Testament foretold. But you still don't believe it. A person simply cannot come back from the dead. Uh, these men must have been hallucinating, or it was some sort of spiritual apparition or something. Well, in Acts chapter 1, Luke tells us that Jesus appeared to his disciples over the course of 40 days, providing many convincing proofs that he was alive. So, well, it must not have been Jesus then. It, it was someone else. Uh, some imposter who looked like him. And these were Jesus' closest friends, and they knew him very well. So there's no doubt that the man standing before them was, in fact, Jesus of Nazareth. But even more than that, in 1 Corinthians 15, Paul says that the resurrected Christ appeared to James, the brother of Jesus. Now, at one time, James thought his brother had gone crazy. And it, and it seems that being a witness of the resurrection of his brother Jesus, that was all the proof he needed to believe that Jesus was, in fact, the Messiah. Why, then, Jesus didn't really die on the cross! He was only mostly dead. Uh, when they took him down and put him into the tomb, the cold air must have shocked his system or something. My, 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 what a surprise that must have been for Jesus to awaken on Sunday morning, all wrapped in those grave clothes. Oh, very humorous indeed. Oh, I see. Uh, but the Romans excelled in this form of execution, and people did not survive. So, yeah, he was dead all right. So, if Jesus died then he's still dead. If the tomb was empty, the disciples stole his body and then lied to everyone, telling them that Jesus rose from the dead. So Jesus' disciples are not spreading some superstitious fairy tale about Jesus. They wholeheartedly believed what they were telling people, and they were willing to die for it, and many of them did. For example, you have the Apostle Paul, who, by the way, was also an antagonist of the church until the resurrected Christ appeared to him. But he writes, again, in 1 Corinthians 15, I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. Now, notice how Paul speaks about the reality of Christ's death and resurrection. Jesus actually died. He was buried and he rose for us. This belief corresponds with reality. The entire Christian faith rests upon the resurrection. If Christ did not rise from the dead, then our faith is futile, and we are still in our sins. And I suppose that would be a huge problem, would it not? 